Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be going through Fortnite's new Chapter 4 Season 3 FPS guide. Since the season is really new and we all know it had came with a lot of bugs. So in today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys to fix all of those things. Make sure to watch this video till the end. It's going to be super informative with all new steps. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential windows settings and for that you need to open up your settings section of your windows and then go into the gaming section right here go to the game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on this will optimize your pc by turning things off in the background allowing you to save your memory right beneath that you will find graphic settings go over to graphics and then click on change default graphic settings Make sure to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimization for windowed games. This will be super beneficial whenever you are playing windowed games or using your GPU for gaming. Once done with that, go back to graphics and now your PC will automatically load the list of all of the applications that uses your GPU on your device. Now you need to look for your game in this list. If you don't find it, you can click on the browse button and then go to the installation location of your game and you will find fortnite launcher fortnite win64 shipping etc what you need to do is add the launcher i've already added it then you need to add the win64 shipping and as i can see both of them are added to my settings now once you find them go to the options and then select high performance and then do the same with the win shipping once you're done with these two settings your pc will be optimizing fortnite using your gpu whenever you're playing the game right after that you need to search for storage sense on your pc then you need to click on turn on storage sense make sure that storage sense is enabled storage sense will automatically clean up your windows regularly so you don't have to go and manually delete all of the cache files simply click on it and make sure to copy all of these settings and then click on run storage sense now this may take a few minutes so keep your pc idle step number two is deanimating your windows and it is super simple simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows then this window will pop right in front of you now what you need to do is click on the adjust for best performance and then enable smooth edges of screen font as well as show thumbnails instead of icons this will significantly make your pc faster as this will disable all of the unnecessary and unwanted animations on your windows which will save a lot of your memory and processing power also go to the advanced section and make sure that processor scheduling is by default set to programs for many laptop users it could be set to background services step number three is system configuration for that you have to search for system configuration on your pc then go over to the boot section and make sure to click on the advanced options click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors available for you guys this will utilize all of your processors when you're booting your pc and it will be beneficial for gaming in the long run once you're done with that simply click on ok click on apply and then go over to the startup section go and open task manager then Disable all of the unnecessary and unwanted startup applications that you do not need when you boot your PC up. This will save a lot of processing power from the start of your PC and will ultimately reduce your last BIOS booting up time. Ultimately, increase your system speed. The lower these applications would be, the better your PC will work. But don't disable all of the applications, just the ones that you do not need with the startup of your PC. Step number 4 is defragging your disk. And this is super beneficial. Simply open up your file manager and go to this PC. Over here, you need to look for your local disk C. Simply right click on it, go to show more options and then click on the properties section. Once this window opens up, you are looking for the tools section. Simply select the optimize and defragment drive. Simply click on optimize. Now make sure that your local disk C is hard disk drive. If it is solid state drive, I would recommend you guys not to run this. But you can always click on this optimize button and it will optimize your local disk C. But if you're on the hard disk, you need to fragment your hard disk. Just make sure that you do not defragment your solid state drive, but you can defragment your hard disk drive. Solid state drive may lose their performance. Once it is done, simply click on close and close your local disk C properties. Step number five is fixing all of your internet problems. And for that, I introduce to you guys exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice and has been used by millions of people worldwide to improve their ping and gameplay performance. Once you've opened up your exit lag, you will see that it is turned off. Make sure to turn it on and you will find a list of all 
all of the games you can select from right over here. Exit lag gives you a choice from over 300 games. For this particular tutorial, we are going with Fortnite. For the game region, you need to select the nearest region to you. However, if you don't know it, you can simply set to Asia. But I know that my nearest region is AA Dubai 01 and it will show you the estimated ping. Exit lag basically helps you to make a tunnel from your PC to the game server allowing you to get a smoother connection and experience. I personally can say that exit lag has been helping me out in each and every game and I would definitely suggest you guys to do it. Simply click on apply routes and Fortnite will be added right to your home screen. Now the best part of exit lag is it offers you the tools section in which we have the FPS boost section. Now if you enable the first, third, fourth, fifth and second last option, you will be getting the ultimate smoothest gameplay experience and I can guarantee you that. However, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using exit lag. But you can use the 1 month, 6 month or 12 month subscription and if you go from the link in the description below, you can get an additional 44% off on this link. So make sure to go and get exit lag for any of the subscription and claim your 44% free and I believe that the price you pay is much much lower than the performance you get in the game and i would definitely suggest you guys exit lag so go check it out step number six is creating a restore point and this is really essential for this you need to search for create a restore point on your pc look for local disk c make sure that your protection is turned on simply click on create simply name it fortnite fps and simply click on create let it do the job it will create a restore point so in any case your pc goes into an error you can always restore everything back to normal and it will protect your pc from any damage this will really help you out so make sure to not skip this step simply click on close close system properties and seventh step is getting the fortnite chapter 4 season 3 fps back i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below if you're looking for best fps this will help you guys a lot simply open up this fps pack and you will find in four folders and one file let's start with this one file which is the ultimate power plan txt this has a simple scheme code you need to copy it open up your cmd and run this as administrator once this window opens up you need to paste this code and press enter i've already added it so once you've done that simply search for control panel on your pc now once your control panels open up you need to look for power options so simply search for power options and then make sure to select the ultimate performance plan. This will utilize most of your computer resources and get you the best FPS performance. However, this may lead to lower battery life and heating problems and high fan speed on laptops. So if you're on a laptop, I would suggest you guys to go for balanced. But if you're on a PC, feel free to use the ultimate performance plan. Now come back to the FPS pack and let's start with the first folder, which is the CPU priority folder. In here, I have left one registry file. I need to double click and run this one. Now for these two folders, if you have an Intel processor, you can use the Intel CPU priority. But if you have an AMD processor, you can go with the AMD CPU priority. Now to check your system, you need to search for system information on your PC and then look for the processor. For me, it is AMD Ryzen 9. It can be different for you, so I have to choose the AMD folder. Also, make sure to take a look on your installed physical memory. For me, it is 32 GB. For now, I'm going to be using the AMD CPU priority. Simply run this one. Now go back to the second folder which is the registry optimization in here i have left some of these registries you need to run all of them that will increase your cpu speed this one will make your game to exclusive full screen that will give you ultimate fps then fixing mouse delay so in case your mouse is generic mouse this file will help you guys a lot but if you're using a high quality mouse such as razer or HyperX, just skip this one last is the fortnite optimization and this will help you guys a lot so make sure to run this optimization registry as well now go to the third folder which is the ram optimization and this is exactly why i have told you guys to take a look on your ram in the system information you can find your ram information for me it is 32 gb it could be different for you so make sure to choose it wisely also i have left a reset to default folder last one is the cleanup files in here i've left you the batch tweaks and this one is the useful tweaks it will optimize your pc in case you need it you can simply double click and run it and also the clean temporary files what you need to do is simply right click and run this as admin administrator and this will simply ask you to delete all temporary files you can simply press any key and you guys can see it is completely removing all of the temporary files don't worry it is completely safe once you're done with the fps pack i would suggest you guys to open up fortnite and let's drop into the best game settings okay so once you are in game 
what you need to do is look up for the settings panel over here and for the window mode you need to go for full screen resolution you can reduce the resolution to lower ones to get extra fps i would suggest you guys to go with 1600 to 900 or 1632 by 918 both of them works best for me for vsync i would suggest you guys to go with off and for the frame rate limit go with unlimited for rendering mode I would suggest you guys to go with performance, lower graphic fidelity, and that will do all of the necessary settings right away. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. Make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button since it really helps me out as well. Also, do tell me how this guide worked for you in the comment section. I am definitely waiting to hear from all of you guys. And if you're confused in any step, make sure to do leave that in the comments query and I will be replying to each one of you individually. Also, don't forget to check out my amazing video on other topics right on your screen we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out